What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be doing a 0 to 100 transformation video. It's going to be makeup, hair, outfits, everything that I do to get ready. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's go ahead and jump into the transformation. First I'm starting off with my brows. I'm using the ColourPop brow pencil and the shade brunette. I'm going to be using the IT Cosmetics CC Cream and the first Ollie liquid glass primer together and I'm going to mix the two together on the back of my hand and then apply it to my face. It looks like I've been really liking to mix my primer and this specific foundation together so it gives me more of a natural dewy look. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I haven't really been using this concealer lately so I wanted to start using it again. I've been really liking my e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer and I've been using that one a lot. A full transformation get ready with me so I want to do my hair, my makeup, my outfit and show you guys my whole process. There's done, now I'm going to be using my KKW Contour Stick which I always use so that is nothing new. I'm still really loving this contour stick and I highly recommend it if you're looking for a good one. In today's video, I also wanted to use more products that I usually don't use on camera. So some of them will be products you guys already have seen me use and others you guys might have seen me talk about but I've never used. I used the IT Cosmetics CC Cream on camera so I used that today. Other products that you guys haven't seen me use. I need to do my bronzer before I set my concealer. So today I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. This is in the shade Luminous Bronze Light. I just quickly set my under eyes and now I'm going to go in with the Fenty Cream Blush. This is the shade Rose Latte and it's a super pretty dark brown shade but when you put it on your skin it definitely is a lot lighter. Bottom of my sponge into the blush. these palettes before. These are the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow Palettes, but I've never used this particular one on camera, so I'm going to try it out today. This is actually my first time using it. Of course, it's neutral colors, but they are super pretty. I'll with this lighter shade right here and dust that in my crease. I'm not sure if this color is even going to work for me, but it's almost like a skin tone color and it gives off a very light hint of color. The bronzer as a crease shade me any videos. I've kind of not really been motivated to be honest and I don't really know what to film so if you guys have any recommendations let me know down below or anything you want to see on my channel. So now I'm going to go in with that darker brown shade. Something about this shade is just not blending well and it's just kind of weird. So far this palette by e.l.f. is not my favorite bite size eyeshadow palette from them. I just feel like these colors are kind of weird and they don't really blend that well. I'm not going to keep trying those shades because I don't really like them to be honest, but I am going to try the shimmer shades because I heard really good things about these colors specifically. First, I'm going to go in with a setting spray to wet my brush so that the shimmer shade will be a lot more intense. It is applying really nicely and it is really pretty. I'm going to go in with the shade from my Carly Bible palette just because I don't like how this look is coming out with the e.l.f. stuff. And... I actually think I'm going to do like a burgundy shade. I'm going to use this like pinky one right here on the outer V. And see if that helps the look. Just added the burgundy shade to my lower lash line. I'm going to go ahead and spray my brush again and add more of the shimmer shade. Now I'm going to go in with some highlights. So today I'm going to be using a Wet n Wild I'm So Lit Loose Highlighter. This highlighter is amazing. So my highlighter is done. Now I'm going to do my eyelashes. I'm going to I'm back with my mascara on and now I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. Retro Paradise Lip Liner. I have been obsessed with these. I'm sure you guys already know. If you're a really good set of lip liners, I highly recommend their newest set that they have out. So I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips. I'm going to top it off with the new Maybelline Lifter Glosses. These are super pretty. I haven't even tried this one yet, but I have swatched it and it looks really nice. Now with all these different colors, and I got this one in the shade 02 or 02 Ice. It's this really pretty mochi pink shade and i talked about this in my most recent target haul so if you haven't watched that you definitely should 
just like a clear gloss but with a little bit of pink in it gloss feels really really nice on the lips it doesn't feel too sticky it feels like a thicker gloss that has a little bit of tackiness so it's gonna last but it doesn't feel sticky like it's gonna be really annoying so i really like the color and the formula of this again with my lip liner some more definition around my lips so yeah super pretty i really like this lip combo i went ahead and did my brows a little bit more and filled them in a little bit and finally i'm gonna set my face so i just picked this up this is milani fruit fetish makeup last setting spray the scent kiwi melon it smells really good it's basically like the razor makeup last but a scented version so i really enjoy this okay so my face is set and now we're gonna finish off the eye so i'm gonna curl my lashes one more time like i usually do and then i'm gonna go in with some brown eyeliner and with the nyx epic ink liner this is the brown shade eyeliner is not working for me at all so i'm gonna go in with my color pop brown eyeliner instead i finished off my eyes this is how they turned out this is definitely not the look i was going for but it is what it is so now i'm gonna go in with my hair so like i said i washed my hair on saturday it is currently monday and it's pretty dirty now so I'm going to go in with my Batiste dry shampoo. I use the brunette one and I'm going to spray this in my roots. So I like to let the product soak in my hair for a little bit before I blend it out. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side now. So I kind of let the product soak up the oils in my hair before I rub it out. But it already gives your hair a ton of volume. Personally, I don't feel like this dry shampoo makes your hair feel clean it definitely makes it look cleaner but it doesn't make it feel clean so if you don't like the feeling of dirty hair and stuff like that then you might want to find a different dry shampoo this is just the one i use and it is pretty affordable as well in mind if you do use the brunette one it does leave like a dark residue in your hair so if you were to touch your hair sometimes you'll get like dark fingernails and stuff like that so just keep that in mind and be careful with your clothes so you rub it out really good obviously so that you don't have like a white residue because Everybody knows that's very annoying and that is not a good look. So now I'm just going to run my fingers through it. Now that my hair is looking a lot cleaner, I'm going to go ahead and start by curling it. So I already heated up my curler. Today I'm using the Infinity by Conair. I believe this is their wand. I've had this for a really, really long time probably since middle school and I haven't used it in a while I've been using my babyless pro curlers or my crimper so I want to bring out my wand again this up in my most recent target haul this is the Kristen s dry finish working texture spray so I'm excited to try this out finally I haven't done my hair in a while and I like to leave a bigger chunk out at the end hair is dirty the curl will probably last a lot longer and will not fall out as much up to this really nice wave obviously not a pro at curling my hair as you can probably see but this is just what works for me setting so it's not too hot so it doesn't get super curly so i just have it on 330 so that is the second coolest setting this is what one side of the hair looks like very wavy and relaxed nothing too crazy so i'm gonna add this spray finish this side of my hair and i'm going to spray some of this so just from feeling my hair my hair feels a little bit crunchy on this side not too much but just an fyi and i also applied a good amount so maybe don't apply as much as i did hair all done one more time with this side of my hair like this side i can get the little thing but I don't know how. Can someone tell me how? Because I have no clue. But I'm going to flip my hair to the side because I feel like it's going to look better. It's done. Next, we're going to go in with my outfit and then that will complete this video. I'm wearing it is a dress and it has a front a zipper. And it's a super pretty fall burgundy shade like burnt orange burnt red and i really really like it so this is the completed transformation so i went from how i looked in the beginning of the video to now 
this is my whole process for my hair my makeup and my outfit so worried in the beginning of this video because my makeup was coming out a little crazy and the eyeshadow wasn't coming out that great and i was like oh no what's happening i'm scared but luckily everything turned out okay and i'm happy with the way this look turned out hope you guys enjoyed this video from my zero to a hundred transformation get ready with me and i hope you guys enjoyed watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below for more videos and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video bye